the start of the 2015 season. We're out here at Wild Horse Motorsports Park in Chandler, Arizona for the Lucas Regional Arizona Series. And uh, we're going to be contending in the Production 1000 class with our Polaris Razor, sponsored by Supercuts. Yeah, my story is a little different than most off-road racers. A lot of the off-road racer guys, uh, you know, started in dirt bikes and came over here because it's a little safer. But uh, I followed the same path, but mine's a little different. I uh, broke my back in 1998 and uh, was paralyzed from the waist down. And uh, throughout a course of about five to seven years, I was able to get out of a wheelchair, start walking with uh, forearm crutches, and then uh, now I walk with. Uh, uh, the assist of leg carbon fiber leg braces and uh, I'm still paralyzed from the waist down but I have a limited uh, function in my quadricep muscles so I'm able to still operate a vehicle in a semi-normal fashion and uh, these Polaris Razors give me a really good platform to be able to race against uh, able-bodied individuals. My name is George Hamill, I'm George's dad, uh, very proud of him. He, uh, he's, he's done a lot He's done a lot with, uh, with his handicap. I, I kind of fix the car, keep it prepped, ready. Um, I enjoy doing it. The opportunity to spend with my son is a good one. I really enjoy doing this. It takes a lot out of you, but it's, it's worth it. It's worth every bit of it. Uh, before uh, off-road racing, I had a five-year goal, and with my five-year goal, I wanted to uh, establish a reputation of uh, overcoming and uh, beating the odds. And when I set to do that goal, um, I wanted to get back to dirt bike racing after I started walking again, and I was able to uh, participate in some great events like the Extremity Games where I won a gold medal, and I was able to participate in the X Games in 2009, and uh, that was a fantastic event. They treat us like rock stars there. Um, and uh, from that, I was able to uh, go into road cycling, and I was able to compete in the Tour de Tucson, which is a 111-mile bicycle race, and uh, that was a fantastic event. And uh, I parlayed that into uh, doing an Ironman, or a half Ironman, excuse me. And uh, the half Ironman was fantastic. I was able to complete that. I trained for about a year and a half, two years to be able to complete that. And it all led up to me having a good reputation and being able to have uh, fantastic companies like Supercuts and Ride Now and the UTV Wolfpack supporting me in 2015, trying to reach my new goals of becoming an off-road racing champion. Most of the time when I'm out on the track, it's kind of like second nature to me. I've raced dirt bikes for a long time, a, a good portion of my uh, adult life, and uh, it's second nature. You kind of think like you're going inside, outside, you know, uh, watching out for other drivers, looking at line choices. Uh, hitting jumps in you know certain positions and uh, most of the time the main focus in the back of your mind is always winning being the fastest person on the track and uh, with my situation it's a little bit different because I'm almost never going to be the fastest person on the track because of my physical handicaps or my disability however with my determination and the, uh, my mindset I'm able to overcome a lot of that stuff and be able to uh, think past all of it and uh, do very well uh, and I really look forward to the 2015 season and being able to show my capabilities. This year we're hoping to do well. Um, this is our really our first first full year um, coming up. We raced part of last year um, so we're, we're looking forward to doing well this year. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, we got a better car. Um, George has gotten more seat time, so he's, he's a better driver. He's an excellent driver. So all in all, we're, we're doing much, much better. Um, there's still things we're learning because we're still new at it. But for the most part, um, we, we try to adapt as quickly as we can to the problems that we have. You know, anytime you have the opportunity to work with your son and daughter, it's always good. Um, obviously, I'm emotional about it. But I, I enjoy I enjoy doing it. Any time I can spend time with my family, I'm, it's worth it. I like sharing my story with everybody because I really want everybody to know that no matter what life gives you, whether it's a disability, whether it's a mental handicap, whether it's uh, you know something wrong with your family, you can always overcome stuff. You can never give up, and you can always overcome whatever you put your mind to. You can achieve. You're only on this earth once, and you can only do it once. So you may as well do it to the fullest.